Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars and it's time for a Luthier's Quick Tip. If you'd like to help support this channel, visit eGuitarPlans.com and buy a plan. Now on with the video. Hey guys, in this week's Luthier's Quick Tips, I'm going to explain one of the several different techniques that one can use when determining how deep to make a neck pocket in a guitar build. Now there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. And the method that you would use is going to be determined by the type of bridge you're going to be installing on the guitar. And in this particular uh, Luthier's Quick Tip, I'm going to explain the method I use if I'm going to be uh, installing a Stratocaster style hardtail bridge. This method only works with this style of bridge. It doesn't really work with a tunomatic because as you know, a tunomatic bridge requires that the neck be angled downwards slightly in order to get the string action that you want. And that's because the bridges sit so much higher off the body of the guitar. This also doesn't work necessarily with uh, tremolo style bridges because they tend to have some different geometry involved that has to be calculated when determining the neck pocket. But let me bring you in closer and I'll explain the simple approach for determining neck pocket depth with this style of bridge. The formula I use for determining the depth of my neck pocket is pretty simple. I take the overall thickness of my neck heel, including the fret wire, then I measure the distance between the top of the guitar body and the bottom of the string where it meets the bridge saddle. That distance or that number is then subtracted from the overall thickness of the neck heel and that gives me the depth of my neck pocket. However, there are some uh, things that you need to be aware of as you're taking these measurements to help you achieve success when doing this. First of all, ideally you would you need to have your neck finished before you can do this. That's why I always make my necks first before I start doing any cutting or carving on the guitar body. I want to have a completely finished neck and hand that I can use both to measure for the pocket depth as well as to use the sides as a way to lay out the position of the neck. But in this case, in determining the depth of the neck pocket, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the thickness of the neck heel, including the fret wire. And I'm going to do that not at the center of the neck as you might expect, but I'm going to do it more uh, closer to the edge, roughly where either your A or your B string is going to fall. And I'll take that measurement, and in this case, it is 1.32 inches thick, which is about 33 millimeters thick. Then what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to measure the distance between the top of the body and the bottom of the string where the string meets the, the bridge. And to do this, this is critical because uh, we're talking about some very tight tolerances here, and if you don't have it correct, you could end up with problems achieving uh, the right or the correct string action or desired string action later on when you finish building the guitar. But the way that the, the way that I measure that distance is I'll use my caliper and I will place what I'll do first of all is I'll lower the saddle or all the saddles, all the way down until they are touching or flat against the, the base plate. Then I'll raise one of the saddles just slightly off that base plate, about a sixteenth of an inch. Then I'll measure from the bottom of the slot that the string is going to fit into to the bottom of the base plate. And that dimension is going to be the string height at the bridge off the body. And in this case, it's 0.32 inches, which is roughly just a little over eight millimeters. So what I can do now is I can take that, that string height and subtract it from the thickness of my neck heel. And that's going to give me the depth I need for my neck pocket.
Okay, so if I get my calculator and I take the thickness of the heel, which we'll say is 1.3265 inches, and I try to go three or four decimal places here in order to get as accurate a measurement as possible. Then I'm going to subtract from that the string height, which we'll say is 0.3345 inches. The result is 0.992 inches. And that is the depth of the neck pocket. That's what we have to route it to. So if you're routing by hand, that's what you would set your router's depth stop to. If you're doing this with a CNC machine, you would tell the software this pocket needs to be 0.992 inches deep, or let's see, 25.4, 25.19 millimeters deep. So that's the technique I use for determining the depth of the neck pocket when I'm going to be using a Stratocaster style hardtail bridge like this hip shot bridge that I'll be using on this guitar. And in future episodes, I'll explain how I calculate the depth and the angle of the neck pocket when using a tunematic bridge. Uh, and I'll also probably do one where I'll explain how to calculate the depth of the neck pocket when using a tremolo. So um, I don't know when those will happen. It'll be sometime down the road. I typically make these videos and cover subjects based on the particular guitar project that I'm working on. So, um, you know, next time I'm installing a tunematic, that's when I'll talk about it. Next time I'm doing a tremolo, that's when I'll explain that, that process. But hopefully you find this video to be useful in determining the neck pocket depth for your next guitar build. And until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.